so far so freaking good like what hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new what's up my name is vna strick thank you so much for being here as you can see by the title today i'm going to be doing an updated full face of she glam which is the makeup from shein i've already done this video but it was a couple months ago and they did come out with so many new products so i figured i would do an updated version and let you guys know even though it's affordable if it's actually worth your money so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you do please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad let's get into it Alrighty guys, so let's get started. I'm very excited. I've seen a lot of sponsored videos with She Glam, and so I wanted to give you guys like a non-biased, non-sponsored video. All this I did buy with my own money, and I will link it all down below. Like I mentioned in the intro, I already have a, a version of this video, so if you guys are interested or if I didn't use a product that you wanted to see, I probably used it in the last video, so I will link it up here and down below if you guys are interested. Last thing, I did listen to you guys about the Christmas decoration in the background, and next week's videos will start out with the Christmas tree and Christmas lights. I decided to wait till next week, but it's still gonna be sooner than Thanksgiving, so watch out for that. All right, so I'm gonna apply some concealer on the lids, and I'm gonna zoom you guys in, and we'll get it started out with the eyes. Alrighty guys, so to save some time, I did take out all the products from their packaging. So if they don't have like the exact name on the product where I can read it, everything is always gonna be listed down below. So everything is linked directly to their website down below. So I don't have a brow gel, but I did find a duo-ended brow product. So I already did put some NYX brow glue on my eyebrows, and we are gonna start out with this brow pencil. Now, this is one of those products that doesn't actually have the name, but like I said, I will link it down below. This was very intriguing to me because on one side, it's actually a brow little retractable micro pencil and on the other is a brow marker which I always love to use brow markers. I don't usually use a marker and a brow pencil but I know that some people do so I figured this would be cool. The only thing is you're not going to get a spoolie but um, so far I'm going in with really really light pressure and it's actually pretty pigmented. It's very pigmented but because it is so thin it doesn't look too much kind of am liking the consistency of this pencil and then with the marker i'm just gonna do some flicks looks pretty good honestly i'm already done with my brows and that took like no effort um the pencil was very very pigmented and the marker is it is pigmented, but not too much because with these markers, um, obviously they can get really heavy really quickly because it is like an ink. So overall, I actually really, really love the way this looks. So I'm pretty impressed. I got the shade Chocolate, if you guys were wondering. I did pick up, pick up, <laughs> I picked up one of their little quads. So this is called the She Glam Cosmic Crystal Eyeshadow Quad in Higher Self. This looked really pretty. I wanted to pick up something that I would use uh, more regularly. The only thing looking at it right now is I wish there was like a little bit of a lighter shade for a crease, but I guess I'll just try to use this brown shade as a light wash of color. So first I'm gonna grab the brown shade. It's a chocolate brown shade, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it all over the crease. I'm gonna start out with a very small amount of product and just build it up until I have the intensity that I desire. So it blended fine, but I will say the color that I expected is definitely not what's on my eyes. It's very weird, it's coming out like a it literally is looking like this shade on my crease. It's like a smoky, cool tone brown, and I really expected like a chocolate brown, so that was very, very weird. I'm gonna grab the darker brown now, and I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke it out on the lower lash line. It's gonna look very crazy at first, but I am gonna clean up the edges, but I'm pretty much just adding a lot of dimension on the outer corner, and I'm not being very precise. I just want it to be nice and smoky. So far, I'm not very impressed. I feel like the chocolate brown looks like this shade and then this shade looks almost black. Um, I'm not getting the warmth that I really wanted from this quad, which is kind of throwing the whole look off. I'm gonna grab the bronzier shade on my finger and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner. And then I'm gonna grab the lighter one and blend it in the inner corner. I'm doing this with my fingers first and then I'm gonna go with a wet brush just to see the difference. You know, I'm not noticing that much of a difference with a wet brush. 
Okay, so I cleaned it up and I have to say I'm genuinely disappointed. I don't know why, but I kind of had high hopes for this. I really like the packaging. I like the color story, but not only did these colors not work well, like they don't actually look like the colors on the pans, but I'm just not getting that much pigment from the shimmers and then the mattes are very pigmented but they're just a little bit hard to blend so i just don't think this is worth it unfortunately even though it looks really pretty and i'm sure it's very affordable um the drugstore does have very affordable quads as well that work really really well so this is a no for me moving on to eyeliner i'm very interested in this i actually got like a two-in-one eyeliner it's supposed to be a felt tip marker kind of eyeliner but if you mess up it also has like a little eraser so I kind of want to test it out on my hand first. I'm going to let this dry while I actually do my eyeliner. And then we're going to see if this little marker does actually work to correct. This marker is such a weird tip, but we'll see how it works. It kind of has like more of like a blade shape. Very interesting. I don't even know how to go about this. Mm, so far it's not as black as I wish it was and it's not giving me full opacity so i'm gonna go in a second time this is really really hard to do a wing with and i did kind of mess up a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and do a wing on the other eye and then we can see if this little eraser actually does help out okay so you do have to go over everything twice to get this opacity so now let's see how this works okay so it is erasing, but um, I don't know. That's interesting. Let's see how it works on the face. So, hmm, I'm gonna just try to like sharpen this up a little bit. Ooh, that worked so well. Wow, okay. Very mixed thoughts because um, I do have to say, not a fan of the eyeliner at all. Um, it is very, very shiny, which I know a lot of people don't like. This marker is one of the weirdest shapes I've ever used for eyeliner. I do like this side though, so I don't know. If you can get over the formula, it not being that good, and you do have to maneuver it a little bit just for the sake of the marker, then I guess it's worth the money, but personally I, I just wouldn't repurchase this but i am gonna see if this little makeup eraser works with my other eyeliners and if that's the case then um i guess i will use this a lot so i didn't get mascara because i wanted to try out some of these lashes i ended up getting um a big old pack of 3d professional lashes they are very very voluminous so i'm gonna go ahead and apply a coat of mascara, pick a lash, and we can apply it and see what these look like. I decided literally just to grab the first one on the left corner, it's my left corner, and this is what they look like. I actually, I don't even think I have to cut them at all. I was really about to cut them, but I think they fit perfectly. They're obviously very dramatic, but I'm kind of living, so I'm gonna grab the other one and I'm gonna go ahead and apply it on my eyes. I'm back. I have not worn fake lashes in a hot minute and I have to say I am a fan of these that I tried and I feel like the set that I got has so many different ones. I do think that that pack has like more like medium to dramatic so if you're more of like a natural lash wearer I don't think this is the one for you but if you do like the drama I feel like these are really, really pretty. I'm very happy with them and they applied very well. So that is a thumbs up. Moving on to the skin. Maybe I'll zoom you guys just a little bit. I don't have any primer. I don't know why. I don't think I could find any. I do have foundation and it came in this really beautiful like velvet package. I was not expecting that. And this is what it looks like. And it does come in a glass bottle. So it is the She Glam Skin Finite Hydrating Foundation. I have a really hard time color matching myself on She Glam. So I got the shade Golden. It kind of matches my tan on my neck. So I think we might be able to get away with this. This is about a half a pump. And I'm gonna use a brush to blend it out. My neck is definitely a lot more yellow and this foundation's more orange. But I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out. So that is what it's looking like. 
I feel like the camera is really helping me out right now because in person I do look pretty orange compared to my neck so I'm not loving that but aside from the shade I'm just gonna like look at the formula it's giving me more of a medium coverage very hydrating here's a little bit of a close-up so you guys can see it looks pretty good actually and usually with foundation I definitely just have to see how it looks after I finish all of my makeup but here is the difference like I said it's definitely giving me more medium coverage I do obviously have a blemish right there so I'm gonna do another half of a pump and we can kind of see how it covers that blemish see it actually gave me pretty good like I said medium coverage on that blemish on the website it says it's a creamy medium coverage foundation designed to mimic the natural look of your skin it is extra hydrating and glowy say bye bye to cakey pore clubbing foundations it is super lightweight blendable and breathable and it does say that it's a barely there foundation that's the only thing i will not agree with i do think um it's not super heavy but it's not as lightweight as a lightweight foundation in my opinion but i do think it looks super super pretty so um that is what the skin is looking like. I am actually really, really liking this. I will give you guys a thumbs up or down at the end of the video, but um, so far it looks really, really pretty. Before we move into concealer, I wanna do liquid bronzer just because I do like to set my concealer right after I use it. So I got a bronzer and a blush. These are just called the She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer. The packaging is super cute. It reminds me of like the Giorgio Armani packaging. I did get the shade Warm Honey. It is like a liquid and it comes off on like a sponge. So I'm gonna do one side at a time because I don't know how this dries. And I also don't know how pigmented it is. So I'm just gonna start to blend this out. Oh wow, it's very thin formula. Did we see how quick that just blended out? I literally blended out in two seconds and I do have to say this shade of bronzer is very, very pretty. I'm gonna blend up into my hairline. The way it comes off, you would think that it would be so hard to blend out, but it is like a liquid, like a literal liquid. That looks really nice. This is so natural and pretty. I'm gonna see if we can build it up just to see for the more glam girls and guys out there. See if we can boost that color up. I could totally see myself using this like way after this video this looks gorgeous and what i like about it is that it blended right on the foundation and didn't add like another layer like it literally looks seamless so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna blend it out more just to kind of match the other side of the face but i am very very impressed so for concealer i didn't get a new one just because i don't think they had a new one so i do have this one this is the she glam eye candy pro longwear concealer um it is a little bit on the lighter side i got the shade huh it doesn't have the shade i will put the shade down below but it's definitely like way too light so i am going to make a little palette on the back of my hand and i'm just going to mix a little bit of this foundation on it and i'm just going to tap it on it's definitely creamy it's very very creamy i wonder how much coverage it's going to give me and i'm going to blend everything out with my elf sponge Ooh, she is giving me coverage oh my god i did not think it would go this far because the consistency is not that thick Guys, so far I'm pretty impressed. Let me zoom you guys in again. Look how like healthy my skin looks. Um, this is definitely giving me more of like a medium to full coverage, but it's not thick, it's not heavy. It's a really, really nice consistency. I'm actually shook. I'm shook it right now because I don't remember being so obsessed with this in the last video, but I don't know, I don't know why, I don't know what happened. But right now, I really am liking this. I mean, you guys, are seeing my skin firsthand so so far so freaking good like what um let's hope this doesn't like ruin it i did try this in my last video not my last she glam video just literally my last video and i did like it but uh we'll see how it looks with this makeup i'm gonna go ahead and use 
the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. Um, this is in the shade Translucent. It comes with a mirror, a pressed powder, and then under here, it comes with a translucent powder. On the website, it does say to use the pressed powder under the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and actually follow directions, and I'll use this under the eyes, and then this all over the face. I'm just gonna grab some of this. Okay. This is looking pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I looked airbrushed right now. What the heck? really pretty because it set my concealer but it doesn't look drying at all so i do think my under eyes still look nice and healthy um it's not like blurring my pores like crazy but it is making my skin look really nice and smooth um so far i'm really really liking it so i'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of translucent powder i'm just going to get like a large brush and just kind of set everything. I definitely need to set around my smile lines. It's definitely taking the shine away from my face, but it's not making it like super, super, super matte. I feel like you can still see the skin. Like it's not shiny, but it's definitely not dull. So I really like that. So far, I'm really, really loving that. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really think of getting a powder bronzer or a powder blush. I only got the liquid one. So I'm going to go ahead and apply just a little bit of powder bronzer just for the sake of the video. I'm just going to grab whatever I have on hand, the Essence Luminous Bronzer. I'm just going to top it off, but I will say that liquid bronzer is stunning. So I'm just going to top it off real quick and then we're going to apply the liquid blush. See, not much of a difference. I just needed to kind of balance out the face so now that i do have powder i want to see how this formula works on powder again this is the she glam color bloom liquid blush i did get the shade swipe right with liquid blushes what i like to do is actually grab a brush and apply it on the brush instead of applying it on the face because since i already do have powder it's just safer that way so i'm gonna just do what i always do i always just apply it to like the tip and just blend it out. Oh. Oh well. Okay, wait. You have to blend this one a lot quicker. That is so pretty. I think because we do have the powder already, you do have to blend a lot quicker. But if you just blend it out really quickly, I'm having no issues. First impression is that the blush formula is way more pigmented than the bronzer, which I don't mind because I love blush, but I just wasn't expecting so much. So I'm just gonna blend this out for a second. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is what we're looking like. I really like it. It's not dewy, but since it is a liquid, it is, again, bringing life back to my skin. It's giving me a glow, and I really, really enjoy that. So, guys, that bronzer and this blush, I love. I love the shades as well as the consistency, the formula, and the pigmentation. So, these are definitely thumbs up. So far, the powder, the foundation, the concealer all look amazing. So, I'm going to quickly finish out my lower lash line, and then we can move on to finish out this face. We're almost done, guys. I know these videos can be a little bit long. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab literally just this brown shade and I'm just gonna buff it out on the lower lash line and we're gonna call it a day. Alrighty, so I applied some mascara and let's move on to highlighter. I ended up buying this beautiful pressed highlighter. This is called the Metallic Glow Highlighter in the shade Solo and it looks really, really pretty. It's definitely more of like a light champagne shade. I'm first going to grab a very small brush and do my inner corner highlight and just press it on. Very pretty. It's definitely like a very, very pale shade, but they do have different shades, so don't you worry about that. So I'm going to grab this little highlight brush and I'm going to start off light. Oh, this is so pretty. It's very like hard pressed. It's not like super powdery or anything. And it's definitely giving me like a metallic look, but without so much product, which I actually really like. It's making me like gleam, but it doesn't look like a huge white stripe on my face. I'm obviously doing a very light hand, but I can see how this 
could work for more natural looks or intense look. And the fact that I'm picking up the tiniest amount makes me think that this would last forever because it is, like I said, not super powdery, but it's picking up like just the right amount. That's really pretty. I'm really, really liking everything. Like, I'm really glad that I did this video because it's not sponsored, but I kind of see why people are taking the sponsorships because so far, like, the products are amazing. So that highlight looks stunning. And this shade is really, really pretty. So for lips, I decided to get one of these little duos. These are called the Glam 101 She Glam. I got this shade Soft chai so it comes with a lip liner as well as a lipstick this is definitely the cheapest feeling product it's very like lightweight and plasticky but i don't mind all i care about is a formula so let me take off my lip balm and we're gonna go ahead and overline and fill it in so far the lip liner is a really really pretty shade it's creamy, but it's not that pigmented, so I am having to go over it a couple times to get the pigmentation that I want. I definitely went over it like four or five times, so that's what it looks like. I actually think the color is really pretty. Like I said, it's just not that opaque. And then the lipstick. Oh my god. I did not expect it to be this light. Mm. Aside from the shade, I'll be honest, I'm just not very impressed with this. The lipstick feels a little bit rough and drying. And then the lip liner, like I said, it's not very pigmented, so it's just not my favorite. So this to me is a no, no go. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my face and then I will give you guys my overall roundup of the products that you need. So to set the face, I'm gonna be using the Press Refresh Setting Spray. This is actually really cute. It's supposed to leave your makeup fresh and smells like vacation. Oh, this definitely smells like vacation. I mean, it set my makeup pretty well. I don't have any blobs. The mist is actually really nice. Pretty good, you know? It looks good. So far, so good. I like it. The smell's okay. It kind of smells like vacation, but I don't know. It's not the best smell. It's not a bad smell, but it's not the best smell. Maybe it doesn't smell like vacation, but um, it does look really nice and the spray worked perfectly fine, so why not? Alrighty guys, so this is the final result and I have to say I'm overall very, very impressed. Um, I really genuinely loved everything except what didn't I like? The only things that I didn't really, really like were definitely the eyeshadow quad, the eyeliner, as well as the lip duo. Um, these are just the things that didn't really impress me whatsoever, but everything else I really, really enjoyed. I think a lot of these products are definitely... The main contenders like the bronzer would blend it out beautifully again if you want more of a natural look this blush looks stunning the highlighter looks beautiful the only thing i will say the foundation concealer combo i definitely think is more for normal to dry skin because even though i already set with powder um for me it feels great it's still hydrating it's actually still a little bit tacky but i don't know how that would work if you did have oily skin but overall i'm so impressed like so so impressed so this is amazing. I'm loving how my makeup looks. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. Remember, all these products are very affordable. I will link them down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you're still watching, comment a pink heart because I really like the packaging of this. So comment a pink heart if you're still watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.